Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr Sealy P. It's Wednesday, it's hump day, it's the 29th of March, we've got some new mods and we've got some updates. The Simulator 22 Monster Truck by Viper GTS96 has had an update. The Lizard P031 Termit 303 by Zimovi Vojovnik. The Fortuna FTM pack by Agra Modding and the Wash Halls pack by Eddie and Moeva have had updates. In front of me, we've got the Juice Factory mod. This is by Fracasse Modding, 2.8 megabytes download. The main building factory is 18 slots, 70,000 to buy. And then there's a sell point that comes with this as well. That's six slots and 1,500 to buy, which you find on the production chains and sell points. The building itself takes 100,000 litres of grapes, 100,000 litres of tomatoes, and 107,000 litres of water to make the productions. As you can see, everything is running. I have got some pallets around the back as well. Under build mode, under productions. Slot count comes down to one. As you can see there, 70 grand. If we go to sell points, that one just there, slot count comes down to one as well, 1,500. Now, the interesting thing about this, and I'm not sure why, this says required mods. It says required mods, vegetable greenhouses, melons, watermelons by Fred Fracasse. But that has absolutely no bearing on this mod at all, because it doesn't take melons or watermelons and it doesn't have the same sell point either so I'm not sure why that's saying it's a required mod anyway um, our managed production point is done here recipes are 480 uh, we'll say no the cycles are 480 per month the recipe for grape juice or farmers grape juice is 15 grapes 10 of water gives you 13 out and then 12 of tomatoes 10 of water gives you 10 out for the tomato juice the pallets will look like this for your farmer's grape juice and tomato juice putting in is done here juice factory by fracasse modding uh, we've got Next to that, the Farmhouse Agronopolis. This is from the Agronopolis map that has been brought to us by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. 23.72 megabytes download, five slots on console, 52,000 to buy. It's, uh, it does say it's a basic farmhouse, but you can go inside this one. A lot of the ones we've had recently, we haven't been able to. Under build mode, farmhouses. Just there, slot count will come down to one. The beds look a little bit uncomfortable, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, sleep trigger is in that room there. Wardrobe trigger is in that room there. What is nice though, it's a nice barbecue, outdoor bar area. But in essence it's the sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger. That's the Farmhouse Agronopolis by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. Next to that, now I'm not sure whether or not this has had a, a bit of a texture fumble as it's come through from PC to console. Unless the door's supposed to be... The, the door on the side is very blue and it looks very flat compared to the texturing and detailing on the walls. That's got almost a three-dimensional kind of look to it. Um, so potentially, I don't know whether this will get an update or not. So this is the Shed with Garage by... Is it Mac Halleck? M9C Halleck. Uh, Six megabytes download, eight slots on console, 40 grand to buy. We do have the door doors. We'll open at the end. There's no lighting inside. Side door there. Another side door there that goes into the smaller room. Then we've got the large area through here. Again, with no lighting under it. For storing and parking of whatever you should fancy. Under build mode and sheds is where you'll find it and just there slot count will come down to one on this one next up as you might as well look at them in here first we've got these two this is the american old garage by ICAS. 4.36 megabytes download they're five slots each 40,000 for the standard one with doors 35,000 for the one without doors the open garage um, and slot counts come down to one on both of them 
these you will find over here now these and the next one are both by ICAS and we do have the option to change color as you can see I've got a green one here a red one here so when we come back into here and we go to place either one of these if you look over to the left it says change color so I can scroll through selection of different options to change colors on it like so the open garage lights around the side here and we've also got windows that will open up it says open gates but we can open all of these same goes for the other one there you go that's with the windows open and the one with the door exactly the same light switches on the inside just here and the doors open and close as well So that's the American Old Garage by ICAS. So next to that, also by ICAS, we've got the Wide Garage. This doesn't have any windows to open. We do have the option um, on this one to change the colour of the metalwork as well. This is 3.67 megabytes download, 9 slots on console, 80,000 to buy. You find it in the build mode. And sheds again. And this one's a bit further out there on the end. So again, with this one, it starts off with green as an option. But then if I go... Right on the D-pad, I can scroll through the various different colours for the metal work on the building. Like so. Light switch just inside the door. I say just inside the door, inside the doorway, there's not a door. Nice big building, plenty of space. That's the wide garage by ICAS. Next we've got this, this is the Modern Cow Barn, this is by Pysel. It's 14.67 megabytes download, 15 slots on console, 74,000 to buy it, will hold 40 cows. Milk Trigger is out the front here. As we go through here, our Feed Trigger and our Bedding Trigger, Straw Trigger, are both along this section here. Uh, the light switch was... There is a light switch. Where was it? Oh, up here on the wall. We can switch our lights on and off. Slurry point is just here. With a dialogue box being just inside the door there for our animals. If you want manure, then you have to place a manure heap separately for your manure because it does take straw bedding, so you will get manure from it. And slurry under build mode. Under animals, I was on it anyway, cows on the end there, 74,000 slot count will come down to one. Nicely detailed, nicely made. That's the modern cow barn by Pysel. Next we've got this. If you're running um, a chop shop on your farm and it all goes horribly wrong, you can change the back end of the vehicle into a trailer if you want to. This is the pickup trailer by MTL Modding Team. 1.96 megabytes download, four slots on console. You'll find it under tools, under miscellaneous, just there, 4,250. We've got the option of Trelleborg or Continental. Under Trelleborg, we've got those options. Under Continental, We've got those two. You have it with or without roll bar. Main colour, anything on that palette. Rim colour, anything on that palette. It doesn't have a capacity. It has got straps. It's designed for taking IBCs, pallets, bales, anything like that you want to. It does say it's designed to work with the 1986 or 2017 pickup. Open, close the back. We do have lighting, indicators, everything's working from the original. There you go. Just get that. That's the pickup trailer by MTL Modding Team. Uh, next we have got, actually I'm going to go on to this one next. Um, this is looking very dirty for a reason. We've got the Leaf Blower. This is by JMZ. Uh, 0 0.7 megabytes download. There's no slot count on this. Uh, this is also found under miscellaneous. 
If we scroll across, it's 1,500 just there. I've already got one, so it won't let me buy another one. Um, but then what we do is, like a jet washer, we get like this. Now this leaf blower is like a jet wash. It blows the dirt off your vehicle. <laughs> it says it does it quickly. As you can see. <laughs> Another one of those mods you never knew you needed. Is it quicker than a jet wash? There's various different ones, aren't there, that, that work seems to work fairly quickly and fairly efficiently that's the leaf blower by jmz next we've got this this is the weight by sevi modding am modding uh, 1.32 megabytes download two slots on console you'll find it under weights that one just there slot count comes down to one we can change the main color to anything on that palette and it's a weight it does what a weight does. Nice and easy. The weight's 1200 kilo by Sevi Modding AM Modding. On the back of that, we've got this. This is the. I need to find it. This is the Lizard Max Tandem by Sloitches Modding. 3.27 megabytes download, four slots on console. Now, this is a tandem trailer section that you can attach other things to whatever you want to you'd have to have a bit of a fiddle around with it there's not anything that actually comes with this um this is kind of in its own right it says the lizard max tandem allows you to use more than one implement attached to it being planters cultivators or any other low hitch implement it won't do three point link stuff because it needs a single hitch point um and it does have the ability to open this up out to a, I think it's a meter either side so depending on what width of machinery you're using now I would say you're probably going to be looking at three meter stuff maybe four anything over that and this doesn't come out far enough for you to attach two together I don't think but what is interesting with it let's turn it around at the moment those two axles at the back are fixed so for reversing when you're trying to hook things up it makes life a little bit easier let's swing that around into the light But up top left, if I do unfold tandem, that disconnects those, so then they'll swing around in any direction you want them to. It does make it a little bit diff more difficult when you're trying to hook things up though, but it's better for in the field for turning and stuff like that. It gives you a bit more flexibility, but you can then lock those back into place, which is quite handy, I think. Uh, L1, is it L1? Yeah, L1 and right stick side to side. Gives you that extension out. I'm just thinking from that central point, so that being the central point where you hook up and out again. Although you might get I don't know, you might get five metres on there. A couple of five metre implements. But that's what it's designed to do. You can hook up various different things. Again, it's one of those things, there's no point in me hooking up one or two things to show you or one thing to show you, because there are so many available. It'll be whatever you particularly want to use. And it'll be a case of trying out to see if it'll fit so you can put two of them together. That would be in type tube. That's the Lizard Max Tandem by Sloitches Modding. Did I show it? This one is under miscellaneous as well. No, I didn't, did I? We've got the option to change the main colour to anything on that palette. And then the rim colour, also anything on that palette. There we go. Next. We've got this next. This is the Amazon ZA. M by Melody98, 2.36 megabytes download, four slots on console with a 42 meter spread width, which is adjustable. This goes up to a 3,000 liter, I think it is. You'll find it under fertilizer spreaders. There we go, 20 grand, 1,000 liter, 1,500, 2,500, or 3,000. We've got design color, one or two. Cover yes or no. Those are your options. Start it up. Open cover. Now I did find when I bought this out to set it up, it wouldn't let me fill this up from a buy anything silo. I had to buy um, big bags. For some reason it wouldn't do it. I don't know why. But we can go for 42 meters, 36, 28, 24, 21, 18, back to 42 again. Close cover. There we go. 
Now this only does fertilizer. This is not a fertilizer and lime spreader. It only does fertilizer. The Amazon ZAM by Melody 98. Next. We have this, the Stroutman Vertimix 1050 by Agrar Design Austria. 5.05 megabytes download, seven slots on console with a 10,500 litre capacity. What's nice about this, you've got a left or right side tip uh, and you've also got a display here which you can rotate round which tells you what's in it. So when you're in cab you can see it depending of course whether you've got a windscreen wiper thing on the back window that's in the way or something like that. But you can turn it sideways if you want to so from outside you can come up and see what's in it without having to get, I mean, if it depends if you've got the menu open, if you've got the help menu open or field info, bottom right it will tell you anyway, but if you haven't got that open it's a, a more kind of immersive way of looking at it. Tomix Ration Mixer, if we jump in you'll see there I've got Tomix Ration already. You want everything in the green, hopefully. You can do Tomix Ration with just silage and, um, silage and hay. You can do silage, hay and grass. It doesn't always require um, mineral feed or straw as long as the bars are in the green and it comes up bottom right with the total mix ration symbol you're absolutely good to go uh, but as i said if we start the engine if we turn around look behind us there you go We've got a little screen there if we go r1 and right stick side to side we can rotate that screen around so from outside you can read it either side if you want or like i say or from in cab depending on which way you swing around and then we got Tip side left, tip side right, unload here. Just like that. Lights indicators. You find it under animals. 9,000 to buy, 50 horsepower required. What I will say, this is the other thing I found a bit weird. I put total mix, hang on, sorry, I should have uh, finished showing that. Um, we can change the design color. And this is for the ladder. So you've got galvanized or fire galvanized and a license plate option on there as well. Uh, yeah, I found, I was filling this up with total mix ration just to get it out of here to show you unloading under a binding silo. And it was one of those ones, you know, sometimes it fills to the level and then shuts off. This one didn't shut off, it kept on going. But the problem I found, although it says it requires 50 horsepower, I bought my little electric tractor out to bring out. Once I hooked up to it full, the, the, the tractor just lifted up in the air. I suppose because the axle's right the way back here, so all the weight is on the hitch. So if you are going to use a small tractor, you might need a front weight on it whilst using this. Just a bit of advice. Uh, the Stratman Vertimix 1050 by Agra Design Austria. Next to that, we've got this. And this is a bit. <laughs> this is the Unia PL6 by Bartson V3. 1.38 megabytes download, four slots on console. It looks familiar, doesn't it? If we go to our low loaders, you'll see that we've got the Bremer transport wagon TP500 there as the base model. If we scroll all the way across the end, hmm. Anyway, 10 grand. Slot count comes down to one. We've got the option on the back here, we've got Trelleborg, or we've got BKT. There's no options within those, just those two. We've got decals one or decals two. You've got additional frame, you've got no frame at all. Small frame, or that would be, I would say, more for round bales, but you don't have to have the frame on there at all. If you're going to move vehicles and stuff like that, you might want to have the space to be able to drive on and off, but you can do bales on it as well, which is quite handy. And license plate option on there as well. We raise and lower it. Like that, lights and indicators, and as you can see, it's got tension straps on it too, which we can do from in cab or we can do manually from outside. The Unia PL6 by Bartson V3. Next, we have this. This is the John Deere 4320 by EY Modding, 17.9 megabytes download, nine slots on console. There's a few different, quite a few different options on this for tyre choice and stuff like that. Gone for the tricycle look, which I quite like in the old tractors. This you'll find under vehicles, under small tractors. Just there, 40 grand for the base model. We've got a 102 horsepower diesel, and they have got the diesel extra power at 130 horsepower. Those are the two horsepower options, engine options. We've then got Trelleborg, BKT. Is it just those two? Oh, 
Oh, I'm thinking of the massive Ferguson's that I've gone. I'm going to be showing you next. That's an absolute minefield. Um, so under Trelleborg, we have got... BKT. We've got cab option, standard, canopy, or full cab. We've got front fenders, yes or no. Front weight, yes or no. Exhaust standard, or chrome stack. Front loader attacher, quick, hower, no. And license plate option on there as well. Hop on. Lights and indicators. So it gets up to 19 miles an hour really quickly. Very nicely detailed, nice and crisp and clean. Lovely. The John Deere 4320 by EY Modding, which brings me on to, once I the last of the mods for today, um, well, there are six tractors, and it's not one tractor with loads of options, it's six separate tractor mods. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going to read out every single tire option on every single one, or all the options on every single one, because as you can see, starting from this end, this is the fruit version. We've got some that have uh, a cab, some don't. The ones that have a canopy have the option to either have this cover, have a screen, a screen and cover. There's options with a chain on it. There's ones with side bits and shovels. I'll show you the different options, but the options do repeat themselves quite a lot as I go through them all. So you'll, you'll see, I think as we get up to the larger ones, we've got a horsepower change. But other than that, I, th I think pretty much all the tyre choices are the same as we go through. Um, so it'll be a case of going through, finding one you like, particularly like the look of, or if you're going for a particular type for any particular reason. As you can see, we've got the comicals. Um, we've got rice tyres, they're used ones, they've got worn rice tyres, there's a whole load of different options with very different looks. What I don't often go for is the aerials on the, the South American stuff. I'm not a big fan of them, but what I will say is when you're driving along, the movement on those, I'll show you in a little while, is absolutely brilliant. I think they're fantastic. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, the Massive Ferguson 4200 series. Uh, by Eric Isaac Agro Mods, 33.88 megabytes download. Each one is 19 slots, and then any subsequent one slot count will drop on there. These you will also find under small tractors. And we start there with the 4275 Fruiter. So, on these smaller ones, engine options are all the same. So we've got 75 horsepower, 80 horsepower, 83, or 120. Then we'll set up. Fenders on this one, this is actually fairly straightforward. On the rear, then we've got front weight, front grille. Now, this again, I'm not going to repeat all of these because these will duplicate quite a lot. You've got old design or new design, side design, this is the decal, old design or new design, protection grid, yes or no, auxiliary options. You've got a chain on there, actually, just take that grid off. So, you've got um, chain on or off. Then you've got antennas left or right, both off. Then you've got design. This is painted grid on the side with a shovel, with painted grid. That's the same on, I think, pretty much all of them. Then rim colour, this is also the same in all of them. A darker grey going through to light greys to a black as well. Then there's a license plate option. So, next one, the 4275 4 by 2 18 grand. Engine options are exactly the same. On this one, though, we have got Lizard. Trelleborg, Michelin, Bigotti, Continental, Midas, Vladestein, Knockin, back to Lizard. Under Lizard we've got We've 
Trinoborg just has the narrows. Michelin, wider weights. BKT, B, yeah, BKT. Continental. Mitus. Fredstein. Knock in, just the communals, and then back to Lizard. Actually, I want to change that. I don't think this has an option on this one for front fenders. We've got rear fender, yes or no. A couple of them do. Then we've got the same option for the front weights. Front grill, same thing. Old design. Side design, exactly the same for the decals. Protection grid, exactly the same. Auxiliary options. This one, we've got the chain. We've got the canopy. Windshield. Chain and windshield. Windshield and canopy. Ch chain and canopy or all three some of those have that then you've got exhaust standard without muffler chrome back to standard same with antennas uh, same with the painted grid and shovel front loader attach on this one we've got an option for that this works with the agm 600 pack which i think is uh also by eric isaac agro mods which you, which you can download and then we've got um Hauer. no and then back to rim colour again. The next one, the 4275 4x4. <laughs> same engine options. I'm pretty sure it's the same tyre options, although obviously this is four-wheel drive, so you've got um, tyres on the front that will change as well. And again, I'm pretty sure... The tyre options are all the same as we go through. Like I said, I'm not going to read all of them out on all of them. You get the idea. Um, fenders on this one. We've got the option for front fender on this one as well. And then all together. So rear fender, front fender, or both sets. Uh, same with the weight. Same with the designs. Protection grid. Auxiliary option, because this has got a canopy. Same options. It runs through all of those again. Exhaust, I think, was the same. Antenna's the same. Design was the same. Let's take that off. Pretty sure it's the same for front loader. Then rim colour, yep. Uh, next, with cabin. So this is a little bit different. Does this one go up higher? No, this one's still with the same, with um, up to 120 horsepower. Pretty sure it's all the same for tyres. Yep, not going to read all those out. Then we've got the same thing with the fenders, same with the weights, same with the front grille. Protection grid, auxiliary options, only has the chain because it's got a cab, so it doesn't have the canopy and it doesn't have the um, uh, windshield option. Exhaust the same, antenna's the same, design the same, front loader attacher the same, yep. This one does because it's got the um, cab, it's got clear glass or dark glass option and then rim colour. Uh, then we move to the, right, now it changes. So we've gone from the 4275s up to the 4290. So this is where we've got a different horsepower option on this one. So this one, we start at 99 horsepower, 105, 150. And the next two, I think, are the same. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it's the same tyre choices. I'm pretty sure it is all the way through now. Yeah. The trailer balls are the narrows and all of them, and then the Michelins and BKTs is wide and wide and weights. Yeah. Pretty much the same. This one actually doesn't have all the other tyres. Uh, after Lizard, Trelleborg and Michelin, we're back to sorry, BKT, we're back to Lizard again. Uh, fenders, same options. Front weight grill, yep, all the same options. Include a license plate, and then oh no, I've got two more. <laughs> oh, the forty-two ninety four by four. Like I say. I'm not going to read any of these out now because they're all exactly the same. This one doesn't have a cap, it has a canopy, so it runs through all the same options the previous ones had. This is just a 4x4 with higher horsepower. Apologies to the modders, it's just a lot. And I know when I read these out, people either love it or hate it. It's that thing of, why are you bothering to read them all out? And I have gone through a lot of the options on the other vehicles already. The difference between the 4275s and the 4290s is the horsepower. Um, you've still got the two-wheel drive option, you've got the four-wheel drive option, and you've got the four-wheel drive um, with cab, which we've been through all the very similar options on those on the, on the previous ones as well. So the cab option looks like that, with all the same options as we roll through. With the cab, we've got the clear glass and dark glass option again, rim colours, 
and license plate. So, which one was I going to show? You? Oh, I want to show you the aerial. <laughs> Now what I will say, what I've noticed, these lights here, just here, if the tractor's got them, I, they don't come on. I haven't had them come on on console. Um, again, I'm wondering whether that, whether that would have worked with the Safetech, the Logitech heavy equipment bundle side panel. Look at the aerials there. I love that. Like I say, it's not something I often put on. I'm not a big fan of them, but I'll be honest, the animation and movement on those is brilliant. These don't have crazy reverse sounds, just a regular old beep. Interior, or first person should I say. 26 mile an hour. But what we do have, and I'll show you one of the cab versions. One that I do like, I don't know why in particular this one, I like the fruit version, the first one. That really kind of stood out. I'm not quite sure why. I don't quite like that. Actually, I also wanted to check. Does that have the ability to fold the rops down? No, it doesn't. I thought I'd better check that. But the cab, we do have some options for windows and mirrors. So if you've got a cab version, let's hop in the one with the comicals. If you go L1, it says turn on group animations. At the moment, L1, R1, there's nothing showing. But if I turn on those animations, it then gives me some extra options. So from inside... Actually, let's turn around so we're in the light a little bit better. It's nice and quiet in here. So now, L1 and right stick side to side does that mirror. R1 and right stick side to side does that mirror. And if I press triangle, it goes to control group door. I've got the option to open and close the door. Hang on. Open and close the door. But it only does the, r the left door. Because the right door isn't a door. Does that make sense? <laughs> So yeah, we can change the control group, mirrors or door, and then we can turn that back off again, turn off animation, uh, group animations if you don't want that to operate. There we go. There's, yeah, there's a whole load to choose from, loads of different options, lots of different looks, lots of different accessories and attachments, including front loaders and weights and chains, and as you've seen, as we've gone through all the different options. There are two new maps out today. Both of them are Finnish. Uh, we've got Corpy by Finn Farming Sim. I'm going to say this wrong. Paxuniemi, I think it is. Paxuniemi by Yamo. Um, I honestly don't know when I'm going to get onto these. Hopefully I'll get one done this evening, maybe the other one tomorrow morning. It's interesting getting two Finnish maps on the same day. But anyway, yeah, two new maps out as well. Uh, that's it for the mods for Wednesday the 29th of March. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching. <laughs>